Savage Gang, Savage Family, what it do, man. You clicked on this video for a reason, right? Let me wait for the garage to finish going up. You clicked on this video for a reason. A lot of people wondering why in the world did I trade my Hellcat in for this. A basic Tesla Model 3. A lot of people wondering that. Say hey to Killer B, by the way, y'all. But a lot of people wondering, you know, why did I trade the Hellcat, the 707 horsepower, loudest, crazy, craziest car for this? Let's go on and get straight to it, man. Let's go on and get into it. Actually, I'm going to sit in the car because it's a little hot. <laughs> It shouldn't do that. It shouldn't do that. <laughs> I gotta get it. It's good, G. It's good, man. Yes, sir. Now, let's go on and get on with this video, man. I know a lot of people been wondering why I traded my Hellcat in for a Tesla. And a lot of y'all, like, I told y'all a few things. But I know like a lot of y'all um skip the video and just try to figure out what I purchased and then then listen to why. And I know a lot of people do that. It's just how it's just how YouTube life works. Um people click on the video and then zoom. Let me see what he got. Oh he got that. Oh wow. Or whatever. But people don't listen to the full video, so now I gotta make videos like this. But it's all cool, man. It's all cool. Some of the stuff I'm going to be repeating, but I'm going to give y'all more information on why I really chose to do this. So, um, first thing first, man, uh, my Hellcat. I did love the Hellcat. There was nothing wrong with the Hellcat, y'all. It was plenty of fun. It was loud. Y'all know I love loud stuff. So, it was like, I know it's kind of a shocker that I actually purchased this car because I'm normally, all my cars are normally loud. Corsair stream exhaust or, or you know with some some along the lines of that but um let's get down to really you know the details of me selling this car so first thing first um I had the car uh what four four months four or five months or whatever and um as y'all know that car was an investment car such like my Corvette my Corvette was an investment car and um, I got rid of that car. I got rid of my Corvette when they announced the C8 is about to drop. And I knew the value was going to drop for the uh, Corvette. Now, I was planning to do the same thing with the Hellcat. Because they announced a wide body Charger Hellcat. Now, when they announced that, I knew the value was going to drop. So that's when I was trying to sell it. But... As y'all know, the uh, the whole oil change dealership motor thing happened, and the motor went out, so it was like a two month delay. So, in them two months, the value for my car actually did drop. They ain't even dropped the wide body yet, but my value for my car actually dropped, and I was like, oh snap! So I actually lost some value in the car, but I knew like once the wide body come out, my value was gonna drop way lower. So I said, okay. It's time to get rid of the car. You know what I'm saying? It, it was really time to get rid of the car. Um, Cause it's a, it was an investment for me, you know? So I was gonna try to try to private sell it, but I was getting, I was, boy, people was playing around. You know, everybody want a Hellcat, mother. You know, everybody want a Hellcat. And you know, a lot of people can't really, you know, uh, afford it or they don't have the credit for a Hellcat or they realize how much the payments is and they say no. You know what I'm saying? So along the lines of that, you know that was that was getting a little frustrating even with me owning my own dealership trying to get people to buy that car man it was frustrating but um i said okay and i thought to myself i said man um i can pick up a i say i can just like sell it to a dealership but when you sell it to a dealership straight ahead they don't give you the money you, you want you have to trade it in for a vehicle so okay cool and I said, uh, the C8 not out, the GT500 not out, the Tesla Roadster is not out. All the cars that I was looking at are not out. You can't trade a car in if the car is not even out yet. So I said, okay, cool. Um, I'm going to trade it in and just get a daily car. You know what I'm saying? And I said, I told myself, I said, I'm going to keep this daily car because I don't have 
nothing daily I can drive. I have a twin turbo Mustang and I have a twin turbo BMW. You know what I'm saying? And it was always a Hellcat or a Vet. Where's the daily? You know what I'm saying? Be reasonable without people. I really need a daily car. So I said, okay, cool. I'm going to get a daily car and I'm going to get something I want. You know what I'm saying? And the Tesla is something that I wanted. I even uh, broke it down to y'all on my channel and I was going to get the P100D on my blog channel. If y'all follow my blog channel, if y'all don't, click the link in the bio. Um, I told everybody I was thinking about getting the P100D. Now, what stopped me from getting that is because um, that would if I got the P100D, that would have stopped me from getting the C8 and the GT500 or the Tesla, every, any any other thing, you know what I'm saying? Because it was already in that price range. This car is, isn't. So I can, I can maybe be able to get this car and get a um the ca or gt500 or something next year if that makes sense to y'all but uh that's that's one of the main y'all gotta understand value of cars and investments a lot of people don't understand that they just see it from the outside view that uh he traded a hellcat in for a tesla initially if i would have just sold the hellcat and then buy a tesla everything would have been like oh okay that's the crazy part about it but I didn't sell my Hellcat for a Tesla. Let's get that understood. I didn't sell my Hellcat for it. That's, that's what happened. I traded it in, but it wasn't necessarily for this Tesla. So I am looking forward to that C8 next year or a GT500 or a Tesla Roadster. You know, those three cars I do have my eyes on as of right now. But a lot of people was confused about why did I do that? You know what I'm saying? It's all about timing with certain stuff and certain stuff have a pattern and certain stuff happen for a certain reason y'all gotta understand that now i done had the car for a little bit over two weeks now and i actually love this car bro like it does the job for me you know what i'm saying like this is the best daily car i can have now somebody said why well, i didn't go get the performance model and all that stuff like i said before there's no need i have a, a crazy performance car to the right of me that I need to make more content with which is killer B my twin turbo Mustang and it's like you know this actually gave me more time and and for me to more lock in on my Mustang you know a lot of people been asking for my Mustang content and I haven't been delivering that like I supposed to and now it's the time for me to really deliver this content to y'all also we got we may have another car coming to the channel outside of the C8, outside of the GT500 and Roadster, outside the Tesla. It may be another car coming to the channel. Y'all don't understand. It's a lot of stuff about to happen right now. It's a lot of stuff about to happen. And uh, just be ready for it. I hope y'all ready for it. A lot of y'all might not be ready for it. I hope you ready for it. But just know, see, and a lot of y'all, I, I, like, I read every comment too, man. I read every comment. And, um, some of y'all said some like crazy stuff like, oh, you an idiot, you dumb and all this stuff like that. Like if I was keeping that Hellcat, then maybe I probably would have, I probably would have kept it. You know what I'm saying? But that was an investment to me. If y'all don't understand how investments and stuff work, then we on two different levels right now. You know what I'm saying? We on two different pages. But that's for a whole nother story. You know what I'm saying? But just know I did read all the comments and I did read the comments where people was like, I don't agree with it, but it makes you happy. So I'm cool with that. And those are the comments I love. You know what I'm saying? I love comments like that. Cause it's like people keep it so real with you, bro. Like I like like people telling me like, oh, that ain't for me, bro. But I still rock with you. You know what I'm saying? That's that's for you. But that ain't for me. You know what I'm saying? I like that's that's the real comments. And I love that's the real supporters. I appreciate those comments. Now those comments when people say you dumb and all that and just and hating and, and and just stuff like that and you hate over there we positive over here bro we we all positive over here so you can leave all that over there you know what I'm saying but <laughs> you know what I'm saying but um that don't stop me that don't stop the grind but um that's that's more so the main reason man uh right there you know I needed a daily car the value for that car was tinkering down 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 and um. You know, and it's gonna stop me from my next investment. If it tank, if it tanks too low, it's gonna stop me from my next investment, which was the uh, GT500 CA or whatever it was, or the roaster. Now, I did add the roaster to that package, y'all. A lot of y'all may be saying, you keep saying the roaster. Why? What? Where? When did that come in play? Another reason I got this Tesla is because 
when I heard about the Roadster, I said, man, it can't be that good of a car. So I went out and test drove the P100D to test drove the performance model of this. And I was like, bro, this is an awesome car, but how do I know it's gonna last long? You know what I'm saying? So me picking up this car for a daily, which is along the lines of Tesla brand, was like, okay, let's see how they do. Let's see how Tesla do. Let's see how I like it on a smaller scale before I spend almost a quarter of a million on a car you know what I'm saying like let's try here before we spend here and it make a lot more sense to me you know it, it, it definitely make a lot more sense to me but the roaster is something I'm very interested in I'm not gonna lie to y'all I'm very interested in the roaster um the GT500 I think I'm I'm steering away from the GT500 y'all because um I, I kind of have something with more power and everything and I, I drove I've been driving it lately off camera just been driving it lately off camera and it feels solid you know what I'm saying it feels really solid and um I'm looking at it right now that's my little baby over there I'm looking at it right now but it feels solid man and it's like um you know I I, I just ask myself why why would I trade in my car because or or you know just get the same car and it has more power and it's a, it, I mean I get it, it's a different feel it's supercharged but I just got I just sold a supercharged car I know what a supercharged car feel like you know what I'm saying the only thing that that may get me is the the transmission the the, uh, the dual clutch transmission that's coming in that car you know and that's it that's it so I don't I don't really see a main purpose for that you know my channel may explode but you know, it's not something I, I got to, you know, I got to have a passion for it. You know, I already have that car. You know, it's like getting the same car. So I don't know, man. I really don't know about the GT500, but I, I can tell you the C8 is uh, still looking great for me right now. Um, but uh, uh, another thing with the C8 is it's a lot of YouTubers getting the C8. You know, a lot of YouTubers getting the C8. So, mm, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know, but it tells the roaster I'm very interested in. I'll tell you right now, I'm very interested in, but it's a different level of money right there. So that's why I don't know about the roast. So I'm still stuck at the same point where I'm like, I don't know, y'all, I don't know. But I did want to break down this video for you, uh, why I traded in my Hellcat for a Tesla um, slash roaster GT500 or C8. Cause it's multiple cars coming down with just this one car. It's not just, it's not like I traded my Hellcat in for one car and it was a Tesla. No, we're still looking at multiple vehicles. So, um, with that being said, hopefully y'all understand this. You know, a lot of y'all not on, you know, up, uh, uh, you know, some, well, I ain't gonna say a lot of y'all cause most y'all underst will understand where I'm coming from. But some of y'all that's just like, y'all head just elsewhere. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I don't, <laughs> honestly. But, I love the car, y'all. I will drop a review on it. I will drop five things I hate and like, dislike about it. But it's, after that, it's not really much for me to post about this car. I mean, I can race it every now and then, but it's not a performance model. But, you know, um, it'll be more so on my blog channel. This car will be more so on my blog channel. But we are bringing the Mustang back. Uh, the Mustang probably will be the next video after this video nine times out of ten this much the twin turbo Mustang will be something something along the lines of the Mustang video but uh that'll be it man I appreciate y'all for rocking with me I appreciate y'all for understanding where I'm coming from I had to sit down and talk to y'all sometimes I gotta sit down and talk to y'all so we can understand where's, where we at you know what I'm saying so that's where we at y'all drop a comment y'all let me know how y'all feel about that whole conversation I just said like comment subscribe Savage Gang I am out I came up on Clayco I blew up on Clayco I came up, I came up, I came up, I came up, I came up Whoa It is my time now It's time to shine now Man, the niggas blind now Cut on my grind now Do the shit for niggas, don't say Chanel